Hi, it's Al again, and uh, I wanted to do an update on the aquaponics system over here, and specifically on uh, the measurements that we need to deal with. Uh, so, uh, let me try to break down how a bell siphon is made, actually, and uh, you know the measurements. If you're going to use these uh, 55 gallon drums and you're going to cut them in half. You know what are some of the things that you need to uh, kind of worry about for the measurements here uh, so for this uh, line that goes in right to for the water to come into the grow beds uh, I'm using one and a quarter inch pipe and the reason for that is because the line from the sump going to the fish tank is going to be three quarter inch pipes so I'm making this twice as large uh, as a return line as it is the supply line going to the fish tank so I have enough volume in here to fill this bed uh, so this is one and a quarter inch and then it's going into one inch uh, pipe and using one inch valves and then you adjust the uh, you regulate the flow on these valves here to the flow that you need to for uh, you know how fast you want to fill that bed the ideal time should be about 12 to 15 minutes uh, give or take a few uh, to fully raise that water level and then drop it down into the sumps below. Now, the way that you do it is using these belt siphons. What happens is, and let me kind of take this apart here, what you want to do is you want to make a drain tube that is at the height that you want the water level to be. So, what should the height level be with these drums? Well, if you cut the drum at the seam as they come from factory, you're going to get exactly this kind of cut that you see here, right? Uh, and those, uh, uh, those drums here uh, will hold approximately 20 gallons or so of uh, water once they have media in it and you need to put the water in it. So you're looking at 20 times 6, right? Uh, that's 120 gallons that I can put into these uh, two drums down here. Potentially, so I need to be very careful on how I drain and, and how I pump that water out. Uh, the drain tube here ideally should be set so that it is one to two inches below the level of the of the growing medium, which is the gravel. And in this, in my particular case, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, expanded clay media, which is fairly expensive with river rocks uh, that we bought that we bought at Lowe's and we're going to mix it half and half. Why? Well because it's cheaper number one. Number two it is heavier so if we want to grow some plants that require uh, you know more strength to be kept upright like corn for example if you get a stock that has a lot of uh, ears in it with the uh, hydroton kind of uh, expanded clay meat that's pretty light it may flip over right. Tomato plants is another example right. Uh, well, I'm sure we're going to still need to drop, you know, uh, strings down uh, or some other material for the plants, so some other plants to climb over. But you need to worry about that bit itself. So we're going to use half uh, river rock and half uh, expanded clay media. Now, so that media needs to be filled one inch below the surface of the barrel or of the tray. So one inch from here is where we'll start, um, you know, where we'll stop adding media. This siphon here needs to be approximately one to two inches below the media, below the growing media. Why? Because if any higher than that, uh, you'd end up running to the risk of um, getting water on the surface, which would promote algae growth. And when you have algae growth, what happens is you diminish the oxygen level in the water and so on. So that's not a good idea. So what I did is I cut these uh, drain tubes uh, eight and a half inches long from the top here. And how did I build that? Well, this is a one inch uh, PVC pipe. And this is a one inch uh, threaded fitting here. So once I put the threaded fitting here, this pipe here will go into that threaded fitting in exactly one inch. So it's nine and a half inches from here all the way up to here. This bed here is about 11 inches or so in height. So I got about nine and a half inches all together, right? And that leaves me an inch and a half. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, leaves 
to me about, yeah, an inch and a half or so. So nine, ten and a half, uh, it leaves me about two inches, I guess, more or less, uh, in there uh, of height. So one of the things that you want to do to promote faster flow in your bell siphon is that you want to have as big a surface on the top as you can. So what I did is I put a coupling up on the top of the one inch pipe which gives me a bigger hole and it gets the water going through it much faster. Once you do that is you make this other tube which is your, your the actual bell itself. This is what will create the pressure, the atmospheric pressure in the system so that uh, when the water, as the water rises and rises and rises and rises in here, when the water starts coming down in here, it'll create a vacuum here. And when that vacuum starts pulling, what will happen is, it'll start pulling water from all the way through, which means all the water starts coming in, starts coming in from the bottom here, right? And uh, uh, it also starts coming in from this, uh, um, from this snorkel. And what happens is, um, the water starts going faster and faster through this drain tube until it's rushing out of the system. The water lowers and lowers and lowers and lowers. When it gets to this level here, it starts sucking air in. What will happen is, all of a sudden, the, the siphon itself will break. The water will flush out of here. And usually, somewhere between this height and these tubes here, the siphon will totally break, which means the water level will be about, I guess, an inch and a half of the, of the bottom be about here and uh, and then it'll start ri rising again because this water here will be constantly flowing out. So we're looking at a system that will take about 12 to 15 minutes to fill up. Fill up. It'll take about a minute or so, well maybe maybe less than that, probably about 30 seconds or so to actually uh, go down. So you'll have uh, oxygen in the roots for the plants to grow. What this is actually is just a maintenance tube. That's really all it is. It's not really needed in the system for operation, but you're going to get a clay media to perhaps plug up these holes here and get in here. So what you want to do is you want to put this on top of it and you want to cut enough holes so that when the siphoning action begins, you have enough water flow through here to get that water going down through the system pretty quickly. But you still have enough room for you to reach down in there and clean, you know, a piece of rock or something like that. And the way you do it is you put it right on top. You take this belt siphon out. Now I can take my hand in there and grab a piece of rock or something like that and pull it out, right? Uh, so it's pretty easy maintenance. Or if maybe uh, after a few months, you're probably going to get some film in the system from uh, the waste. And uh, you may want to put a water hose, high pressure water hose down in there and kind of flush it out. And that's kind of what that does. So. Uh, that's essentially how you build, uh, how you build the, the first part of the system. Now, how do you actually build a bell? Well, the rule, of, the, the rule of thumb is that if this tube, the drain tube is one inch, this should be two inches, and this should be two inches. So everything doubles, right? Whatever the size of the drain tube is, the bell should, need, should be double that size. And then the maintenance tube should be double that size also. Another rule of thumb is when you cut this, the length of this pipe here should be just long enough, the length of this uh, bell here should be long enough so the top of the drain tube comes to the bottom of the bell. So when I put this down here, the top of this, the top of that coupling, it's actually right about a quarter inch below the bell. Uh, not higher, it's okay to be maybe a little bit lower but not higher. Uh, but you want to keep it as close. You want to keep it as close as you can to the end of that bell. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to put a hole in it. After you drill the holes in the bottom, right? You want to drill as many holes as you can in the bottom to promote fast flow when it is draining. When the bell, when the siphon begins, all the water will be rushing through here, going up the bell, down the drain tube here, and drains the bed out. And uh, so you want to have enough holes in here to promote a fast flow here. Plus some of the water will actually come through here. Now, in the plans that I found, they recommended to use this uh, 5 16 ID by 7 16 OD uh, clear tubing. And then use silicone all around here, which I did. Uh, that tubing here uh, protrudes inside the tube, inside the bell, by about a quarter inch.
what I found out is that this thing kinks real easy. So the best approach to put these uh, uh, plastic ties on it was to use PEX line. And so that's what I did. The PEX line fits perfectly inside these 516 ID hose. And that gives me a good place for me to crank down and secure the, um, uh, the snorkel. Uh, so the snorkel will help also with water flow, but then once the water gets down to this level, it'll start sucking air, break the siphon, and then uh, the tray will begin filling again. This on the other hand here, you just want to simply make, you know, drill holes in it, cut it with a miter saw like I did, uh, staggered. So when you get done, it kind of looks like an accordion. If you kind of look at that, right, it kind of has an accordion feel to it, but it's still strong. Uh, and that's just so that water can flow through it when the, when the siphon action begins here. So uh, what I wanted to cover today essentially was just how to build a bell siphon, how to build the, uh, the filling system itself, and uh, look forward to the next video when I uh, start tying things together and just kind of showing you how the system actually works in draining, uh, filling and draining. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. God bless and take care.